Hi guys, it's Dawn from Let's Make a Mess today. How are you doing? Well, I'm going to do a um, haul today because I went to a couple of thrift stores and I found some great things today. I mean, I've been going, but I haven't been finding a lot. But today I think I found quite a bit of stuff. So I'm going to share what I found with you. Gracie's down here on the floor. I expect her to hop up any moment. And if you know me and if you know Gracie, I know, and if I know you, you don't mind. So um, she's down there. She's looking. She's trying to think. If I ignore her, she'll hop up. But anyway, um, let's just get started. These stamps were on sale. They were originally $6.79 a piece. And um, I'm going to, there she is, just as soon as I need to be able to see what's on the screen. Hi, Gray. How's my girl? How's my girl, huh? How'd you do today? How you doing today, huh? Can you just scooch out away just a pinch so I can see what I'm doing here? Let's try to zoom in a little bit. There we go. So aren't these really sweet? Um, I just thought they were really pretty and I thought, um, I could, they're brand new and I don't mind using these block ones. You know, the problem with the block stamps is, let me see, the problem with the block stamps is, um, storage, of course, when the other ones are just so easy and she's going to sit like right there. <laughs> That's my girl. I don't mind. Oh, she's just, she misses me. She's just, she's so used to me being around now. You guys i have been off work for a month now and, um, she loves it. But anyway, I thought these were beautiful. I'd stamp them and then I can color them in with some um, watercolor pencils or something and just do that on the on a on a journal sheet. Oh, I've got I'm planning on making my own like journal, you guys. I mean, like I really I have something in mind that I want to make. So and I just got these because they're Oregon stamps. I don't know if they're yeah, they're brand new. I better figure out where I'm at here. They're brand new. And they they say Oregon and they got the ducks on it. So I thought, you know, for $3, you better grab those Oregon stamps, girl. And then I found this set of four books. Guys, these are so pretty. I don't know. Let me open up. I want this. There's, there's Flower Fairies of the Autumn. Flower Fairies of the Spring. Flower Fairies of the Tree. And Flower Fairies of the Alphabet. So that's interesting. Let's see what that's all about. Look at the images. Like really beautiful somebody went through and folded down the corners twer to me i don't do that to books i don't think that should be done but but aren't these gorgeous even if i want to just cut these around fussy cut them and put them in something you know i just love them there's double daisy and eye bright and um just gorgeous there's fuchsia i just love these beautiful little um beautiful little yellow fairies and then oh my gosh they're just so pretty so i'm probably going to be using these look at that iris using these as fodder in my journal i'm not sure but there's that one and then let's look at the fairies of the tree real quick they're all in pretty good shape except for somebody who folded them down see i don't know why would somebody do that i just you don't do that to books you just don't fold the corners my mom taught me that at a really young age i mean i'll do it to a paperback maybe I mean, if I'm going to do it to any book at all, oh my gosh, look at that. It will be to a, a paperback, but it's, I'm not going to do it to a lovely book like this for sure. So anyway, I don't know. I'm either going to use these in my own journals or they're going to end up in a, in a book sale. You know me. Um, I do do book sales occasionally. And so these, this little set might end up in the book sale. I mean, everything's for sale these days, right guys? Because you know to do it okay so there's those let's put these back over here beautiful little books and then i found this these really nice i like the color of this green it's like a muted it's like a sagey green it's not coming off very good but i just loved the color of this muted green it was only a dollar and this one is just beat up you guys this is just and it's linen you can tell it's really linen and it's got like a hole in the middle but look at this lovely um, old, old uh, lace. I just thought that was beautiful for another dollar. So you can't, I'll be probably using that in a journal. And then I found these, which is really rare because the doilies that I found up in, uh, Olympia were not $1.99 for three. It was like $5.50 for one. <laughs> so this one still has the all cotton China. I don't think this is, well, it's old, but it's probably not that old. I don't know. I just don't know, but isn't that pretty? Little so embellishments. And there's a nice simple one, but I just love the pink trim. Really pretty. So that's some of the I found some other. Did I find some other? 
Yeah, I found some other, but I'm not, I'll show you that in a moment. Some other uh, fabric, fabric -y stuff, I think. And then I found this. It's a one and a half inch guide ruled, and it's just super old. And I just love the color. I love the color, and I thought, I have to have that. So, yes, and look at the water stain. Isn't that beautiful, you guys? This is going into my new journal. This just might make it in there, too, because I just love the color. It's beautiful. So that's that. I have this wonderful idea for a journal, and it's going to be a journal for moi. Okay, so this is not, okay, this is a Hobby Lobby haul, or Michael's. I did go to both today. Um, I'll show you that after this. And then this is, this is a really pretty blue um, notepad. Now, I don't particularly like what they say. It just says, do what this note says and no one will get hurt, Bill Young. So that's probably from Bill's desk. He probably had these in his office as a joke, you know, somebody made, but the color on these, I wish it could come through better. The color on these, it's really like a robin's egg blue, and then it's got the white along the edge where um, some of it has like sun bleached. It's really old. So what I'll probably be doing with this is cutting it out and using it for fodder because it's just a beautiful color blue. You don't find this robin's egg blue. It's even lighter than that, actually, to be quite honest. And I fell in love with the color. So I thought, and it was 99 cents. So I'll throw that in my stash. Thank you very much. Okay, this is another Hobby Lobby or whatever. Okay, so what is this? Oh, okay. So this is the one I think I might be making my journal. Oh, here's the, here's the material. Here's some more. Hold on. Let's just do some more material really quick. So these were 10 pieces of this type of crochet. I believe this is crochet. Yeah. And they're, look, they're like ready to use on the side of a book. Aren't they fantastic? And then you can, of course, um, doll them up and, and collage on them. So those were ready. And then this was beautiful. This is a really gorgeous little lace. Hi, Gray. And, um, for those of you that don't know, Gracie rules the roost, and um, she gets to come and go as she pleases until I've had it, and then I make her get down. And look at this lovely little pin cushion I found. Okay, sit down. Sit right there. You can sit on the computer. I don't care. And look at this lovely... I didn't push her hard, you guys. Honestly, I didn't. She's... But for 25 cents, I just couldn't pass this up, and I need a little pin cushion. So there's my pin cushion. And I found that there's more of that. So we've got those. And then I found this beautiful, stained, but yet gorgeous uh, uh, embroidery. Now, this looks like it might be machine done. I, you know, I am not, uh, but I don't care. I just love the pink flower. I mean, that has got to go somewhere. There's two of them, and they're, it's like a shiny. Isn't that pretty? And I would say that that is machine done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, although, I, I mean, I don't know for sure, but maybe. Looks like it to me. And then this one. Uh, I love this because of the blue. I like the blue again. I thought the blue was really pretty. It's kind of like that ombre here and there. And so it's lovely. So I like the blue. What do you think of that, Gray? What did you think of that? All right. Look at this. But you know what? It gets better. Oh, look at her. Oh, she's like, can I see that? Mom? Okay, let's let her look at that for a minute. Let's let her take a moment. Let's build how you can. Yeah, you can. All right, so this is a record of our baby, and the drawings are by Meta Morris Grimble, but you guys, and then there's a card, some cards in here, but let's look at those in a moment. But wait, oh, look at her, look at her, look at the cute cat. Sorry, <laughs> I digress, but you have to see. She's so cute right now. But look at these lovely pages, you guys. I mean, seriously, and look at the beautiful little, um, it's, not, it's just completely falling apart, you guys. But it's so cute. Five weeks, 22 inches. Somebody wrote that in there. Here, five weeks, 22 inches. And then baby's first short clothes. Baby's first party. And these are just, they're lovely. So I'm keeping this. And I am journal. I'm going to make a journal out of this. Notes because I just fell in love with the whole, the even the messy stained I mean, it's perfect. It's perfect. So that is going in there. And then I've got some of these cards, but oh, this is on from Mother. Isn't that sweet? No date, made in the USA. Oh, and then there's more 
This is to Dear Mabel from uh, Lydia, July 8th, but of course there's no no uh, date. Oh, it's a get well. Isn't that cute? But wait, there's more. All right, you guys. I'm not going to go through each and every one, but I'm going to show you what I found. I found a lovely bundle of um, cards. So let me get them out. Oh, that one's... Okay, there we go. And they're all vintage. And I, I just I just scored. So, yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? And they're all signed. and They're not dated, but they're signed. So, oh my gosh. Oh, look at wet paint. And let's see if there's any right. Yep, from Ray and Hilda. Uh, I, and I just love the images. These are all kind of get wells here. And there's a new baby. Thanks a lot. Isn't that great? Love Nancy. Not beautiful. So these are going to be tucked into some journal spots. Um, I'm probably going to, I might um, scan these in to have some vintage uh, writing uh, on my uh, YouTube channel. Because, yeah, I would love to do that. But look at this. You know, everybody loves that. So anyway, so there's a lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot of these vintage cards. And it looks like most of them were used and signed, which is more than fine with me. Oh my gosh, look at that. Isn't that cute? Where are you going, Gray? So let's just kind of go through these really quick. A nice little envelope. Mother, Dad. Look at that, you guys. Isn't that great? I might bundle these up and put them on Etsy because you know, like I said, everything's for sale. So if you see something here you like, let me know or if you're interested. Oh, from Lorraine. Somebody kept all their cards. You know, I did that too. She's kind of getting in my way. Come on, scooch, scooch. Nope. Oh, she can't. There's nowhere to scooch to. There you go, sweet. And there's from Grandma. Oh my God! Look at Grandpa. I know why I love you so much. Well, we'll never find out because it's just the front. But isn't she adorbs? All right. Oh, someone. Sorry, you have the measles. Oh, look at you can pick whatever disease it is measles chicken pox tummy ache a bad cold mumps oh my god whooping cough <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> i just i don't know why i think that's so funny <laughs> but i just kind of do you know pick your pick your poison right anyway aren't these adorable so these were a very good deal and i just had to have them but wait there's more hold on Oh, so sweet. So if you're working on a baby's journal or something, let me know, because I can really hook you up. Okay? For sure, for sure. Okay, I have another pack. Let's run through those really quickly. Really quickly. Couldn't pass these up, you guys. How often do you see cards like this? They're like a dollar a piece, right? Well, these were not a dollar a piece. I did really well. Just saying. So some Christmas tags, vintage Christmas tags. Oh, some little uh, stamps. 1966. Look at that little Christmas. This is great for a Christmas journal, you guys, which I have coming. Oh, look at it. It's a little kitty in the, in the stocking. Isn't that adorbs? So cute. And the night before Christmas. And Christmas Day, too. I'll be wishing and wishing a Merry Christmas to you. Aren't these cute? They're super sweet, so I can't wait to get busy on a Christmas journal. Look at that. That is so sweet. Super sweet. Oh, that one's got like little angel hair over it. See how they did that? They put a the little, little fiber right there. That's really cute. And then we just have some more Christmas. So this must be all Christmas. Look at that. I looked everywhere, but I can't find... I looked everywhere, but I can't find Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year's. Can't find what? I don't get it. 1947. You guys, 1947. So you know these are old, right? That's great. Some people, some people actually, um, 1956. So there's some dates on here. So that's wonderful. So these look like Christmas cards. So I'm happy about that. What do we got? Christmas, seasons, holly. So that's so beautiful. Doesn't that remind you of 
Why does that remind me of the um those girls and uh Concord, you know, what's her name? Oh, look at the little feather. Uh, Joe, she was the writer. You know what I mean. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so super cute. <laughs> look at that little candle. So it only happens once a year to sit, to have a Merry Christmas. It's so cute. Just, I love these old cards. Oh, this is what I love when these old sparkly ones. Those are my fave. Of course they are, right? Of course they are. 1956. 1956. Look at it. It's Christmas in Oregon. There's Mount Hood. Oh, these came from here. It's Christmas in Roseburg. Look at that. Where the Myers are wishing you. Arlene and Jim. That's adorable. Somebody made a card. Oh, look at this. It's an old-fashioned Valentine. They don't come any nicer than you. Oh, remember those? That's so cute. Well, I used to love Valentine's Day because you'd make that big heart pocket at, at um, you know, put your name on it and you'd put things on there and make it all pretty. And then you'd on Valentine's Day, you'd get to put all the cards and the hearts and everything in there and then take it home and have it and play with it you know because you know that's what we do because we love paper right i've always loved paper so all right let's just flip through these oh look at that remember those ornaments those are cute oh this is so cute i wish they had dates on the back you know but anyway so as you can see we have a ton a ton a ton look at that no date on that i date my cards do you i even date my birthday cards to my daughter i do this is not dated why don't people date their cards my mom taught me that you know even when my mom signed cards to me she always dated it you know so i knew when i got it no dates here either hmm i guess it wasn't a thing some people didn't some most people didn't on this in this particular group of people okay so there's those cards so I am going to hang on to those until, you know, whatever I decide to do with them. I'm not sure. And then I picked up these cards here. Now, recently, somebody sent me some vintage cards. And I um, just picked these up. And my, whoever, who is it? Susan Boyer just sent me some vintage cards. And look what I found, Susan. Some vintage cards. And these were, mine were more than yours. You, you spent two dollars. You spent, um uh 29 cents she said well mine cost me two dollars <laughs> but i had to have them so cute just so cute so i had to have these cards because they're vintage and they're cool and why not you know just super cute so there's that okay let's see what else i'm running low in my box here but i still have some stuff oh and then they had a strip some strips of um material free so I just grabbed these strips because they're just pretty. They're, they're felt. I don't use felt very often, but I like the texture and I love the lemons. And I thought they were pretty and yellow. And then I picked up another bunch of that. You know, why not? Free. Oh, and I found this cute little card. And it said, I have the highest and best mentally operating mentality operating in my life. So I like music. And then there's this one. Music, same thing. Same thing. So I thought those were pretty. What, what's this? Oh, and then they just had some more scraps, and I just grabbed some. Um, I just got to put this in my um, And I just grabbed some of these. It's, what is this called, Jake? Like a gauze? And there's a stamp on it, but I just want it to rip up because I like the gauze. You know? I thought the gauze was really cool to add to some collage. And then they had some, like, linen. Just some scraps and some more linen. And then some of these. And I thought, these are already cut into little pockets, you guys. Ready to go on the side of a, in a book. Yeah, so, and then some of this, be, what is this, like, I don't know what this is. More linen type material. So there's that. Okay, so that's all I got for, oh no, it's not. I've got three more things to show you for my haul. I went crazy today. I'm surprised at myself. But I just, I saw some good stuff. But I found this at a garage sale, actually. Because uh, there's a lot of garage sales here on Saturdays. But this has some really great um, recipes in it. So this one's not too old. But I liked the 
Look at the text. And it's printed, so it's not like super cool, but I just like the text. But they have little different little recipes. Pistachio Delight, Pat, what is that? Pineapple casserole. Three beaten eggs, one half cup sugar, one teaspoon of flour, and one can, can of crushed pineapple, undrained. Mix the above ingredients, place in a casserole, top with six slices of cubed bread, melt a half a cup of butter, and pour over the top and bake 30 minutes. That's weird. Strawberry pudding cake. And you know, the thing about it is, is I'll show you the, I'll probably be using those in journals. I don't know. And then I found this one, Res Residence Chipboard. Isn't that funny? Recipes and Residence by Employees Mutual Benefit Committee, Housing Department of the University of Oregon, 1982. Oh gosh. So this came from the University of Oregon in 1982. So they have a bean dip, a guacamole, easy cheese ball, just, you know, different stuff. Breads and cookies and cakes, oh, zucchini bread. I will bet that's probably a really good recipe. Zucchini bread in the Pacific Northwest is huge. So I don't know what I'm going to do with these right away, but I don't think I'm going to do too much. I, I'm actually going to hang on to them um, because I want to save some of these recipes. So I'm not, I, I don't think I'm going to tear these up. I think these are actually going to end up in my kitchen, especially this one. Look at this one. Aunt Bee's Cookbook. I love it. So compiled by CFW Group 5 with loving help. From the fine cooks at the um, Central Christian Church in Pocatello, Idaho, 1981. And there's all of the ladies. What is this? Oh, this is the minister wives. When they're, I guess they were, um, so 1964 to present, this is the new minister's wife. But these are all of the um, dinners. I mean, an hour casserole. I mean, I don't know. You know, we don't eat this way anymore. But um, I mean, hamburger biscuit casserole. I don't know. You know, I, we don't eat like that. But I just thought it would be kind of fun to maybe save, save these recipes. You know, I don't know until I decide not to anymore. Zucchini bars. I've never heard of that. So Homer's oatmeal pie. An apple crisp, that would be good. As Christians, the task before us is never greater than the power behind us. Well, okay then. Fresh rhubarb crisp, hello. Hello, and then we have miscellaneous things. Danish pickles, Dr. Johnson's minted nuts. Okay, so that's that for my, that's my thrift haul. And then I went to the store and I picked up a few things. All right, I picked up some cards because your girl is going to do some cards. And I was thinking I might incorporate some of these old cards into my new cards. I don't know, but this was $5. There's 50 sets in here and I don't have any card uh, making supplies right now. And I want to make some cards. So that's coming down the pike. And then I bought this um, cutting templates. I thought these were beautiful. You know how I love floors. Like, and so I am going to, or flourishes, I guess this would be. Um, it doesn't say what it is, actually. But um, I have a new cut bug. And I thought that this would work great with my cuddle bug. So um, I'm going to try it. Yeah. So that's the other thing I bought today. And then I bought some of these um, corners for old pictures. I thought that those were really cool. I needed some of those, like a hole in the head, but I got it anyway. Okay, and then I've got some material, well, fabric. You guys, I always say material, but it's fabric. And I got this at Joanne Hobby Lobby. And I actually had a, a card there that I forgot that I had, hadn't used. So I thought that these were really pretty together and would look pretty in my journal that I'm going to be creating. And I bought a fabric roller and I used my 40% off on this thing because it was $18. And I bought some Fabri-Tac. And this stuff scared, look at that, it's got glue coming out the sides. I didn't even notice it. Oh, look at that, you guys. See it? I didn't even notice that when I took it. I hope that doesn't mean it's going to be icky. Somebody must have opened it. Oh, yeah, look. Ugh, Fabri-Tac is so messy. Well, wish me luck. 
And then I bought some of this uh, Stop Fraying. I, I was looking for um, Fray Away or whatever, but I found this permanent adhesive so that when I'm working on my journals and I don't want my fabric to fray, because you don't always want that, um, that I can put the Stop Fraying on there and it'll stop, stop it from fraying. Because I am going to be doing a lot of fabric in the new... Um, the new journal that I'm going to be making for myself to use. So that's that. So that's my haul today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoyed um, today. I got out and about. As you can see, I got out and about. I spent a little bit of uh, cash on some much needed, right, needed supplies. And uh, it was just a lot of fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this too. And I can't wait to play with you guys with it all. And um, you know that I will. So anyway. All right, you guys, I hope you love it. Talk to you later. Take care. Bye, guys. See you soon.